Okay, so in this video I will show you how you can install plugins in the Calibre software for Mac and Windows. The Calibre software is for your ebook library and you can do a lot of stuff with Calibre software. But in this video I will show you how you can extend Calibre by installing plugins for your pleasure. So here we have some example books and as you can see I have some different formats because I have different ebook readers. So I have Keypub for Kobo ebook readers for example and I have EPUB and KFX for Kindle readers. So there is actually two ways to find different plugins to install and that is if you go to preferences. This is a Mac but you can find preferences on your Windows machine too. Uh, so you have preference here and here we have plugins as you can see we can move this Windows up here we have plugins. Here we have some stuff we can do with different plugins and we have get new plugins here. If you click on that you get this window. Here we can install more plugins. We can uninstall plugins we already have and so on. So that is the long way to get to install plugins. But you have also in the menu in Calibre immediately get plugins to enhance caliber so if you choose that instead you get this window immediately so you have all the plugins ready to install immediately and here we can choose not installed we can also choose the plugins i have already installed and here we find the plugins I think you should install. You should install count pages. Uh, you should also install Keypub output if you have a Kobo device. You should install KFX input and KFX output if you have a Kindle device. Uh, that is necessary if you want to use the KFX format or the Keypub format for your Kobo. But this is another very good plugin that you should use with your Kindle and Kobo device. And that is Modify EPUB. This will make all the EPUB files work for your Kindle or Kobo device because it modifies the headers of the EPUB to have the table of content, the TOC file ready and be used with a Kindle or Kobo e-reader. So the two plugins I think you always should install is count pages and modify EPUB. Those two plugins needs to be installed because you should use both of them. So if we close this window again, you see we have count pages. That means that it counts the pages of your EPUB ebooks. So you see how big the book is that you should read or want to read. And the modify EPUB plugin makes this a new EPUB and stores the original EPUB as an original EPUB file. So you have the original EPUB always available still, but you have a modified EPUB too by using those plugins. So let's go back to get plugins. So if we choose install plugins, here you have them. So these are the plugins I use and you should use for my suggestion that you should use at least. And if you want to plug in to be installed into your Calibre ebook library, then uh, let's say I choose not install so I can find different plugins. You have a long list of plugins you can choose, but you can also search for a plugin. So for example, if I search Keypub, key like so. 
Then we have two plugins that I have not installed yet. So for example, the Keypub input. This plugin, if I want to plug in this, install this into Calibre, then I just click on install. But here you can read what every plugin will do. So this plugin is convert Keypub files to HTML. I will not use this, but uh, this is just an example of a plugin you can install. So click on the plugin and then choose install. And then you get a warning that installing plugins is a security risk. Plugins can contain a virus or only install if you got it from a trusted source or you saw you want to proceed. And to my knowledge, uh, Calibre won't list any plugin that has a security risk. So I think the, the list with the plugins from Calibre is safe to install. So I click yes. And then the keep of input successfully installed on the conversion input. You may have to restart Calibre for the plugin to take effect. So here we can restart the Calibre software immediately and then the plugin will be ready. So now let's see if that plugin is installed into my caliber. So here we have all the plugins that I have installed. And uh, let's say we find uh, here, here we have the plugin that I installed that converts keypub files into HTML. So if I want to use that plugin now, I can decide to do that by clicking, for example, on this book. If I want to convert this, this book, this keypub file that you see there into HTML2, then I just click convert. And here, we choose Keypub as input format and the output format should now be, could it be HTML Z like so. And now we can just click OK. And now you see it starts the job and now it's ready to be used. Uh, as you can see here now we have that book in HTML format too. That is how easy it is to install a plugin. So that way you find all the plugins that you can install. And you can see every plugin you have installed. And you can also find plugins on the web. So for example, DRM removal plugin, you can find that on the web. And then you need to install them from the web and that is not as safe as installing plugins from the caliber list you see here but you can do that and then you follow their guide to do how to do that from the web instead and it works the same actually you just plug in install the plugin and restart the caliber and then you find it and so on so that was a short video on how to install different plugins. So if you want to convert, modify, count pages and so on, you can do that with different plugins. As you can see up here, you have count pages and you have modify EPUB. Those two plugins that I recommend you to install. They are very, very necessary for your Kindle or Kobo ebook reader. So, okay, bye.